With the recent update to War Thunder, Winged Lions, there seems to be three new maps. One of them is the footage you are watching, and they're called EC maps, Enduring Confrontation. And if you play simulator battles, you know that these maps are some of the maps in simulator battles. I don't know, that is really dumb. Um, but recently they've been put into realistic battles. These three maps are Vietnam, the one I'm playing, Afghanistan, and Spain. Now, these, I think, have been very positive to the game and can bring more to the game in the future. And because of the way it's made and how big it is, not only can you have a one-on-one -on -one fight with an aircraft, but you can also use your aircraft properly. So aircraft like the Phantom, which wasn't made to dogfight, which was made to go fast and use its missiles. So now the radar missiles that were made for long range, and especially the new AIM-7F, which I've seen have kills from up to 30 kilometers away, can now hit targets, which were really useless in the old maps. But now, like all I'm about to talk about is really good. So not only can you use your aircraft correctly, but you can use them better. Now there's a little problem where EC maps are only in top tier. Well, they go down to, I think, 9.7, 9.3. I'm pretty sure that's their its limit. And I think the EC maps should be limited to 10.3. And while I'm all, I should add a disclaimer while I'm saying this all, EC maps, I think, should be added more and I think need to be the main for a new game mode. So I think it should be the main map for realist air realistic battles or a new game mode called realistic air realistic EC. But with these new maps and the new distances between the enemies, you can add they c there's more aircraft that can function like the MiG-25, the F-14, and the Mirage F-1. All these aircraft would have problems in today's main maps, which are the tiny maps, because they would either be really bad or really, really good. But with the big maps and in the situations that those aircraft would see realistically, you can have better, more fair, and overall better rounds when you play. Now, because of this, there can be new weapons to come with these new aircraft. Some, which we can already see in-game, but aren't on certain platforms, like the AIM-9L, which is on a helicopter, but not aircraft. And the main problem with the AIM-9L is not adding on right now is they would be overpowered. Having them in small maps and them being able to turn really well and being able to destroy their enemy a lot better would be overpowered. But having these big maps where you're mainly going to use radar missiles and only sh short-ranged IR missiles, I, th I feel like the AIM-9L and the RB-74, the Swedish de designation, could fit a lot better in-game and wouldn't be completely overpowered. And other missiles that could be added for the radars are the F Phoenix on the F-14, and the R-40 on, I'm pretty sure, the MiG-25 and the MLD, which we already have in-game. Now, recently, in the past few uh, months, in the past few updates, we've seen leaks for drop tanks, which I think with these big maps and some aircraft not having good enough fuel loads, fuel tanks and drop tanks would be very useful and very beneficial so if you have a small load and you're just flying high using radar missiles and you get intercepted and you can't maneuver with them, you can drop them and continue to fight. Now, w whether this be a modification or like part of your weapons loadout, I don't know. I would like to see it as it just being part of your fuel load where you can take max fuel plus fuel tank or you can just take max fuel on its own which would be 
really, really nice. Now, EC maps overall give you a more realistic feel into air-to-air -air combat. Now, like I said earlier with some aircraft, you could I could even see aircraft like the F-16 or the MiG-29, MiG-29? Yeah, the MiG-29 being added and not being completely overpowered because it's that one-on-one -on -one radar versus radar and then in the occasion IR versus IR. Now, if you pick, and you can pick your cards correctly because you'll be able to see them from a longer distance instead of just flying, having four guys on you, and then a fifth guy come up and kill you. So being chased by the entire enemy team, which is a huge problem with today's maps, and I think can be fixed really easily with these new EC maps. And I'm really excited to see what Gaijin does with these because these can generally fix top tier, which currently isn't as fun to play as, say, lower jets or props. Now, another thing I'd like to see going on in the drop tanks is air-to-air -air refueling. I think being able to refuel without having to land and say you have full weapons load, like say there's someone on this EC map that you can't see and you don't know and he's really far away, and you're low on fuel, but you have all your weapons. Or say you dropped all your bombs, and now you have weapons load, and you don't want to get more bombs to then drop it. I, I think adding air-to-air -air refueling would be really useful for those types of situations. Because not only could you use the air-to-air -air refueling... It, yeah, it's, I just explained it perfectly. <laughs> So that's my overall view on the new EC maps, and I really hope Gaijin makes them the main map of this game. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day.